So ready whenever you are. Okay. I'm ready. Welcome to Ball State University in Muncie, Indiana, located in the Midwest of the United States. The 20,500 students of Ball State study subjects ranging from architecture, nursing, and telecommunications to journalism, education, and fine arts. Every two years, students in the community come together in a week-long festival known as Universe City. The theme in 1990, Uncommon Ground, urged people to explore the diversity, seek the unknown, and discover the truth about their world. To enhance this exploration, the campus was transformed into a fair for the mind. Students listened to speakers, watched presentations such as Native American dance, tea ceremonies, and a parade, as well as visited interactive booths such as the Promise of Peace booth. As part of the International Day of Peace, students, faculty, and members of the community recorded messages for you. Ball State would like to feature a similar videotape from your country at the next festival in the fall of 1992. We can start with the exchange of tapes and progress to the exchange of students. Perhaps the bonds developed will bring our two nations closer. Through our new friendships, we can break the stereotypes, melt the fear of differences, and come to understand each other. You want to do it again? Yeah, they think you may have stuttered during diversity. Diversity, right. Got it. Welcome to Ball State University in Muncie, Indiana, located in the Midwest of the United States. The 20,500 students of Ball State study subjects ranging from architecture, nursing, and telecommunications to journalism, education, and fine arts. Every two years, students and the community come together in a week-long festival known as Universe City. The theme in 1990, Uncommon Ground, urged people to explore the diversity, seek the unknown, and discover the truth about their world. To enhance this exploration, the campus was transformed into a fair for the mind. Students listened to speakers, watched presentations such as Native American dance, tea ceremonies, and a parade, as well as visited interactive booths such as the Promise of Peace booth. As part of the International Day of Peace, students, faculty, and members of the community recorded messages for you. Ball State would like to feature a similar videotape from your country at the next festival in the fall of 1992. We can start with the exchange of tapes and progress to the exchange of students. Perhaps the bonds developed will bring our two nations closer. Through our friendships, we can break the stereotypes, melt the fear of differences, and come to understand each other. Um, should I be looking right in this? Okay. What can we turn off the uh, the teleprompter? That's fine. Yeah, yeah, just, that's fine. Just so I'm not looking at words there. Yes. Okay. Hello, I'm John Worthen, president of Ball State University. Let me tell you about a very exciting program that's held every other year on our campus. It's called Universe City. Universe City involves all of the academic departments on our campus and offers the opportunity of faculty and students to come together around a central theme. Last year's theme was Uncommon Ground, and that explored diversity. The next university will be in 1992 in September. 
it's one of the great ways to begin the academic year because it focuses on the intellectual. It helps us enhance the intellectual uh, climate on our campus. And it would not be possible if it were not for the hard work and effort of dozens and dozens of faculty and students who organize and plan the event every other year. Is that all right? Hello. I'm John Worthen, president of Ball State University. Let me tell you about a very exciting program that is held every other year on the Ball State campus. It's called University. And from the name, you can see that it involves both the university and the community. It's a wonderful way to bring together the community and the university members, faculty and students and staff. It's an opportunity for each academic department to develop programs, bring in speakers around a central theme. And it's a great way to begin the academic year because it focuses on the intellectual and helps us enhance the intellectual cli climate on our campus. It would not be possible if it were not for the hard work and effort of dozens of students and faculty who help plan and organize this enterprise. Let's run it again. Hello, I'm John Worthen, president of Ball State University. Let me tell you about a very exciting program that is held every other year on the Ball State campus. It's called University. It's an opportunity for students and faculty and members of the community to come together around a central theme. In 1990, the theme was Uncommon Ground and focused on diversity. The next university will be held in the fall of 1992. And it will bring together speakers and programs focusing on the intellectual. It's a wonderful way to begin the year because it helps us enhance the intellectual climate on our campus. It would not be possible, however, if it were not for the hard work and dedication and enthusiasm of dozens of faculty and students. And I want to thank them for their efforts to put on university. You'll run it once more. We'll Hello, I'm John Worthen, president of Ball State University. Let me tell you about a very exciting program that is held every other year on the Ball State campus. It's called University. It's a program which provides an opportunity for students and faculty and members of the community to come together around a central theme. In 1990, the theme was Uncommon Ground, and it explored diversity. The next university will be held in 1992 in September. It's a wonderful way to begin the academic year because it focuses on the intellectual. It helps us enhance the intellectual climate on our campus. It would not be possible, of course, if it were not for the hard work and the dedication of dozens and dozens of faculty and students. And I want to thank them for their efforts in the past and we look forward to an exciting university in September 1992. Okay, go Festivals are held worldwide, but rarely have I been to one whose basis is that of stimulating the intellect, as well as the ability to have a good time. I personally thought it was good because it got me to respect and appreciate diverse things which aren't a part of everyday common knowledge. I think that's what college is all about, being exposed to unfamiliar things or standing on uncommon ground. Okay. Scholage. Okay. I personally thought it was good because it got me to respect and re let me do it again. I personally thought it was good because it got me to respect and appreciate diverse things which aren't a part of everyday common knowledge. I think that's what college is all about, being exposed to unfamiliar things or standing on uncommon ground.
This festival has shown me that a lot of things are happening outside my own little world. You want another one? I'll give you three or four. <laughs> this festival has shown me that a lot of things are happening outside my own little world. This festival has shown me that a lot of things are happening outside my own little world. <laughs> I hope that our countries can find a mutual understanding through the arts. I study music and I love it very much, and I think that it's a very much a universal language, something we can all understand, and I think that that's a way that we can bring the world closer together.